Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this simple shaker style radiator cover. Face frame and the sides are made out of 15mm MDF. I've got all the pieces out of less than half a sheet. The top I've got from an off cut of 18mm. I've got access to this wall saw, so which is really handy. But if you haven't got access to this type of saw, then the table saw would do. Or failing that, you could go to your local DIY store and they'd probably cut it up for you. Here I'm starting to mark out all the pieces. I put a face mark on everything so I know which is the front. And I also mark them up left, right, top and bottom. I'm marking out here for the vents. 30mm down for the top vent. And 100mm off for the bottom vent. Now when radiate covers it's important to have vents. For the cold air to be sucked in at the bottom. And the warm air to be expelled at the top. That's why the gap at the bottom is bigger than the gap at the top. So the warm air is forced out the top. Here I'm marking out all the sides that need a chamfer button on them. Over at the router table, I've installed a chamfer cutting bit. Just run all the pieces through. Making sure I never pass my hand over the cutter. Now I'm roughly putting the pieces back together with the face frame. This is so that I can mark out where I'm going to put the biscuits. It's roughly in the centre of each rail. I'm cutting slots for number 20 biscuits. Now I'm setting up the sash clamps ready to glue up the face frame. A little splodge of glue in each slot for the biscuits. Not too much, otherwise it'll be oozing out everywhere. And the same amount in the corresponding slot. I use Type Bond 2 wood glue. I find that it's a really strong glue. And it's exterior grade as well. So it's good for a lot of applications. When tightening up the clamps, I want to make sure that it's perfectly lined up with the rail so that the face frame goes together square. Now I'm just measuring the diagonals to check for square. If the measurements are the same, then the face frame square. Now I'm just putting the shank around three sides of the top. Now 
with the face frame face down on the bench. I've loosely put the side on and I'm marking up the four number 20 biscuits to attach the sides to the face frame. And the same on the other side. Move the fence back on the biscuit joint at about 2 mil to create a slight step between the side and the face frame. When clamping the sides on, you want to make sure that they're nice and square. Now I'm screwing on some small angle brackets to attach the top. These two brackets are so that I can attach the radiator cover to the wall when I'm fitting it. The last piece to cut is the grill. The grill just screws onto the inside with some 15mm screws. Is the cover complete? And finally, here's the radiator cover after it's been painted, scribed, and fitted back to the wall. In my next video, I will show you how I scribed this radiator cover and fixed it back to the wall. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.